Hey, what is up guys? I know I help here. Welcome back to the channel. Now, iOS 17 Developer Beta 3 has been out for a couple of days now, so it's time to talk about what's going to happen from here on out. The next beta for iOS 17 and beta 4. What are some of the features and changes, and when can we expect the next beta to be available to registered developers and public beta testers? So in this video, I want to talk about iOS 17 Developer Beta 4, some of the expected new features and changes, release dates, and when we can expect the official final release for iOS 17 to the general public. Now, it's sort of crazy to think that we're about two months away from iPhone 15 and the official launch of iOS 17. So things will be changing here soon in terms of release schedule when it comes to beta for iOS 17. So let's go ahead and dive right into this video. Now, the first thing I want to talk about is iOS 17 beta 3, the current version right now, and public beta 1. Apple has issued a brand new splash screen for Apple Music, as you can see right here, explaining what's new. We have some of these share play options, uh, the crossfade between songs, and now a new song credits. Now, I've seen this splash screen before, but there was only two options. Now, we have the third option, and this song credit option can be found in your Apple Music, of course, when you click into an artist, a song, you click on these three dots here, and you see a new credits option right there. It gives you more information in regards to the song, the composer who wrote the song, and things like that. More information in regards to the artist. So it's a nice welcome addition. This is now available in beta 3. Now, another thing I want to talk about is a brand new emojis. Brand new emojis. Emojis 15.1 will soon be hitting your iPhone. Now, I don't expect these emojis to be available until iOS maybe 17.1 one or 17.2 later down the road but we have the head shaking horizontal and vertically we also have a mushroom a lime a broken chain and an awesome phoenix i like this one a lot as you can see right there we also have additional options here for families running uh, accessibility emojis a lot of new emojis are coming later this year here's the entire list as i mentioned before we have the phoenix we have the brown mushroom we have some family adults and things like that so the entire list is right here if you want to go ahead and check it out I'll link everything in the description down below. So when can we expect iOS 17 developer beta 4? And what are some of the changes we can expect that Apple bring to the software? So number one, Apple has mentioned there's a few features that won't be released with iOS 17, the official final version. But there's one feature that Apple mentions that will be coming to iOS 17 that we've yet to see and hit our devices. And that is the proof of age, the ability to scan your ID in the wallet application in order to present your ID maybe at a venue, at an event, a concert, or maybe even to purchase something that you need to be 21 or older, maybe like alcohol and things like that. So yeah, this feature I'm hoping to see debut here shortly with iOS 17. Hopefully, we'll see a glance of this within Beta 4. Now, something else that I did want to mention quickly is there's a few features that were rumored to be coming to iOS 17 that we've yet to see. I'm thinking these will most likely happen later down the road, but reliable sources like Mark Gurman and others have mentioned that the wallet application should get a redesign, something pretty similar to what you see here. You see we have the cards, we have cash, keys, IDs, and order. It looks a lot more organized than what we have right now within the wallet application. Also, the health application was rumored to be getting an update here as well. We haven't seen that happen again. This was rumored by reliable sources, so hopefully we'll see some redesign of some of these apps in the near future, including the Find My Network application as well. And there's also, of course, bugs to talk about because, of course, iOS 17 Developer Beta 3 has a few bugs that a lot of users can continue to report. And now the number one bug that I continue to hear is issues with the keyboard disappearing from many users. So when you go to type, the keyboard just disappeared. In my experience, the text field, as you can see right there, disappears. I went to type. I'm happy that I'd happen in camera here because as you can see, there's no text field there. It disappears sometimes. I can't see what I'm typing. So that's the most common issue that I'm having. The keyboard doesn't disappear from me, although it does from some users. In my experience, it's the actual text field where I can't see what I'm typing. So yeah, there is definitely issues and bugs within the third beta, but not as many as there were within the first and second beta. So I'm happy to report that. Now, some users are also reporting issues with 
with the public beta not having their wallpaper show up so if you go to create a brand new wallpaper the actual apple collection wallpaper so these collection wallpapers apparently are not showing for some users especially the ios 17 wallpaper does not appear to be showing up for some users running ios 17 public beta one so hopefully we'll see this minor issue and bug address within the next beta as well so when can we expect ios 17 developer beta 4 and the official final release for ios 17 well as i mentioned things could be changing soon so ios 17 developer beta 4 will most likely hit our devices on the week of the 24th of july now no one really knows when apple will release new software updates but if apple continues on a two weeks release schedule we'll see a new beta on july the 24th 25th or 26th of july now after that we'll most likely switch to a weekly release schedule for the entire month of august and then an official final release of ios 17 on the week of the 11th of September. That's what I'm thinking is going to happen this year, very similar to last year, following the same pattern, basically. So mid-September, we'll most likely see iOS 17. My thoughts is 11, 12, or 13th of September, we'll see iOS 17, the official final version, hitting your devices to the general public. A lot to look forward to. Hopefully, Apple continues to polish up the software, improve the battery. By the way, I'm doing a battery test, so make sure you stay tuned for that, because I do have a battery test on the works comparing ios 16.5.1 versus ios 17 so make sure you stay tuned for that thank you for watching i hope you guys enjoy the video and i'll see you guys on the next one peace